Good evening and welcome to the show that has wheels. Now, as I'm sure you know, we have a test track outside our base here, which we use to test the really fast stuff, the uh, Porsches, the Ferraris, the Lamborghinis. And this week, the S60R, which is a Volvo. <laughs> However, that we've brought a bit of sanity to our world of noise and squealing tyres. Because Volvo say this is a rival for the BMW M3. To be honest, it's hard to see what they're on about. It's got a phone, fabulously comfortable seats, cruise control, and it feels soft and flobbery like a big woolly bison. It's not that fast either. They have a turbo and two intercoolers, but it still only develops 300 brake horsepower, way less than you get from the Germans. It's only when you really concentrate that you start to pick up the clues. The big alloy wheels. The blue engine cover. The seats, which seem to have been made out of David Dickinson. And those three little buttons on the dash. Comfort, sport and advanced. These buttons are the key that unlocks Volvo's all-new Skyhook system. Now, this is a system that's got more computing power than the CIA. So, let's push sport and let's partially disengage one of the traction controls there. Now, let's see what happens. <laughs> Now, at this precise moment, the computer is thinking, aha, that front wheel's losing grip, so I'm going to apply the brake to that, I'm going to back the engine power off, and what little power there is, I'm going to send it to the back to see if I can get the back out, and then I'm going to pump the shock absorber up here to see if that'll make a difference. And then, five hundredths of a second later, it changes its mind, it thinks, no, 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 now this has got all the power in the world, I'm going to unleash the engine's power and get it all coming to the front, back it off to the back, get the back brakes on. <laughs> From in here, I have no idea that any of this is going on. It's very relaxing. I can just sit here listening to the excellent stereo and speculate on whether or not these seats aren't really David Dickinson at all. They might be an off-cut of Dale Winton. A choice cut of Dale. So, the combination of four-wheel drive and two very clever traction control systems make this a safe, stylish, likeable, but slightly boring medium-speed cruiser. A rival for the BMW M3? I don't think so. Of course, the good thing about this technology is that when you've finished clowning around, you can put the suspension back into comfort bison mode, sink a little more deeply into Dale Winton and bumble home in your trilby. Volvo style. So what happened to all that usual pointless, you know, skidding around in a cloud of smoke, headlights on? It Rubbish. won't do it. It won't do it, honestly. It's almost as though the Volvo bosses said to their engineers, go away, chaps, let your hair down. They're like that usual dancing queen, let's have the full Aussie Osborne. They were a year working on it, and all they've done is made the normal S60 a little bit safer. <laughs> I know what you mean, OK, I've got the brochure here, and I've never seen so many of these stupid acronyms for driver controls. Look, we've got DCC, wheel hop control, DSTC, CRAP. Oh. What is it all? I mean, can you turn it off? <laughs> no. <laughs> The normal thing is, in a normal car, when you want to turn the traction control off, okay, you just have a button, push it, and it's off. Not in this, though. It says here that you, uh, you're not allowed to do this unless you are highly experienced. <laughs> 
and then it says that in order to do this, you have to press the button five times in succession with a certain frequency. Oh, God. <laughs> Does it tell you what the frequency is? No, but this is the country that cracked the Enigma code, OK? So we had no problem working out what it was. And then when we'd got it off, we gave the car to the Stig. So, away he goes. Now, remember, the traction control is completely switched off and the suspension is in advanced mode, which Volvo says make the S60 behave like a pure racing car, apparently. Stig's playing tribute to the walls of love there. Now, he's looking tidy around Chicago, especially fast, it must be said. The real test here, the hammerhead. Wow, there's plenty of understeer there. Oh, dear, that's not good. Nothing like a pure racing car, then, in fact. Follow through. That's quick. Oh, careful, Stig. Now, coming up into the penultimate bend. <laughs> Lurching a bit there. Over the first sector of all, there was four seconds down on the M3. As it slews through Gamble and across the line. And the time was one minute, 35 seconds dead. Oh. So that goes. There, yeah. basically. 1 minute 35 dead. Which is still 3.2 slower than the M3, which is a lot. It is there. a lot, but look at it this way. It's less expensive than the M3, and it's less embarrassing than driving an Deeply M3. less embarrassing. And the great thing about the S60 is that you can have it as an estate car. And actually, that is really nice. That, I think that is fabulous. I it, love that. It's very, very good. So, what I'd do is uh, buy an Audi S4. LAUGHTER